Hi, this is Lisa with Joyful Tumblr Designs, and we're going to make this beautiful cup today. I'm going to show you how. Um, it's a 30 ounce hog, but you can put it on any cup. So let's get started. We start out with the cup. It's a 30 ounce hog, and we have uh, some Alumilite Amazing Cast Epoxy, approximately 20 cc's. You want a little bit more on the cup uh, so your alcohol inks can uh, move. The alcohol inks that we're going to use are Sunset Orange. These are all these couple are from uh, Tim Holtz. Sunset Orange, Sunshine Yellow, Lemonade, Honeycomb, Crimson, and Pitch Black. And then we're also going to use from Pinata the Calbaza orange. I'm not saying that right. But those are the majority of the cup colors that I used. Um, make sure you shake all your uh, alcohol inks up. And um, especially if you haven't used them in a while. You shake them up and remove all your caps. Um... I was just kind of going through a bunch of them and looking. I had probably about 20 sitting out there initially. But um, I'm going to put the epoxy. I'd already pre-mixed it. I'm going to put the epoxy on this cup. Um, it helps if your cup is a little warm. Um, and I also put my, my epoxy just maybe less than a minute on a candle warmer. It helps move it a little bit better. But if you put your cup in front of a little space heater, it helps make that epoxy just slide on. Um, so I'm just making sure all the areas are covered. Like I said, I used about 20 cc's approximately. Normally with a glitter cup, you would use a small amount because you just wanted it as an adhesive. But on this, this you're going to use alcohol ink, so you want your, your alcohol inks to move. So you put just a tad bit more. Alright. I'm going to move my glove and <clears throat> get my inks. And you're going to start, and you start with any color, you just kind of alternate. And you tilt it from the bottom and you drop your inks down and kind of twirling it around. It doesn't matter what order you go. And what I do is I drop them in between, generally. Sometimes on top, just kind of depends what you feel. There's no mistake, there's no right or wrong on this. And that was a yellow. And that's a red or an orange, I can't really tell. But I just kind of drop, and you see how the, uh, the alcohol inks are already kind of mixing. Because you're going to make a fire scene. What next? Looks like I'm going to do the black. And I'm going to kind of concentrate the smoke in the middle. Because the smoke goes up. But I do put some at the bottom. Um, just kind of, I kind of look at it to see what, what I think I might need. You kind of keep keeping the cup moving a little bit if you can. But I'm just kind of dropping different spots. And that's a yellow. I'm kind of just going in between anywhere, filling it in. Oh, I started with a coral cup, I'm sorry. Um, a coral base. I had prepped the, the cup, of course. Um, cleaned it, and then I um, then I spray painted the the coral on it. Now I'm going gonna start from the top going down, doing the same as I did on the bottom. It's hard for me to hold it up, <laughs> but I'm just kind of going in between, doing the kind of the same, just in between covering. You know, some of the coral's still showing, that's okay. I 
like I said, just keep it spinning a little bit. Looks like a mess, a hot mess, but it once that you start turning on your turner it, and getting some heat on it, it will just melt together and be beautiful. You can't make the same two cups, of course. Right, here is the smoke. I'm doing some smoke at the top and the bottom, in the middle, of course. You just kind of see where you think it might you might want some but with that coral base if you don't get it all covered it it just it looks beautiful in the background it looks like a like a fiery scene from night if that makes sense just kind of filling in the areas some more yellows All right, so now we are, I've got it on the spinner. I should have probably got the bottom a little bit more, but that's okay. But I got it on the spinner, and I am heating up my alcohol inks. You don't want to heat them too much because you don't want to mess. You just want to get those alcohol inks moving a little bit. The black is a little thicker, so I hit it a little harder on the blacks, on the smoke areas. Just where you see it moving just a little bit. You can burn this easily, so be careful when you use the, the heat gun. Let's see how they're starting to move. I kind of hold back and kind of look at it and see. I'm going to turn my turner the other way to get the, the movement. And you're going to look to see if there's any more areas you want to put some alcohol inks, of course. If there's some areas that just not covering. And there, I decided to put some more yellows in there. Some orange or red. Just the areas where you think they're just not covering. Like I said, if you don't get it all, that coral will be a good base on it and you won't be able to tell. I'm going to turn it the other way. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm going to take it off the spinner, and I'm going to maneuver that ink by shaking it. Shaking it, doing whatever you need to do to get a little bit more movement, not just swirls. Because smoke and fire, you know, have different. And the ink is still moving, so I'm just kind of watching it. If you don't want epoxy everywhere, be careful on this part. <laughs> have something covered. My turner was my turner one was coming off. I used the Bowen, and it's a twist tight. If you don't have that turner, that is the best turner in the world. You can see in the background. And the wands are awesome. They just go in your cup, and you don't worry about cups falling off. So you can check them out on Etsy. It's the Bowen LTC on Etsy. B O A N. So I'm just kind of looking. If you can see, you can see a fire scene. There's fire smoke in the middle and the bottom. Okay, I'm going to put it back on the turner. You just tighten the little nut there. And get it turning. And that's pretty much it. And here is the final product. I cut out some little firemen and some uh, burnt trees and put them all in there and kind of uh, put them appropriately where the smoke was and everything. Um, but as you see the coral base, you can't tell that there's missing. It looks beautiful. So thank you for watching. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and visit Joyful Tumbers at all my uh, social media. See y'all next time.